What's crack a lady? What's crack lady, fam? What's crack lady? It's your boy Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk on the short one just for you, fam. You know what I'm saying? This one's gonna be about a video I saw with um Special Ed. Special Ed is a rapper from the 90s. And um the Dog Pound crew. I guess Special Ed had a comment where he said about um NWA was the beginning of the destruction of um the rap game, really, the rap game. And um they had these dumb meatheads come on there like um Stupid dads and um, that crusty mouth dude, um, what's this goddamn odd? Corrupt, corrupt, be a corrupt, right? And how they was getting, not getting mad with a um, special way, but was trying to say that um, it's not true. Well, special, it was 100% factual, 100% factual. Only some dumb, stupid person would not agree with them. You know what I'm saying? Inside the rap game, so they should know what's going on there. You know what I'm saying? But Jerry Hell and all these things like that, right? Like I said before, I always said that here. You know, it goes by frequencies, frequencies of music. You look in the 70s, you know, you had AM radio. The frequency was very different. Remember back in the 70s, how you may have like, um, you may came home from work, you said, now I throw some um, Blue Magic, Sideshow. That's what I was doing, because my 870s, so I was always come home and pop in that A track there. It was a blue A track, pop, pop. You know, it's listening to Blue Magic with different frequencies. It made you feel calm and relaxed you. You might come home and listen to some, um, some Al Green. You might throw on some Gladys Knight. Something like that that's um, going to make you feel good. Some feel good music, you know, but we don't have no more. Like, especially I said, it was an agenda. The agenda was this here. Rap started, let's say, back in, um, we'll give it 73, 73, about 73, right? Yeah, 72, 73. It was a fun thing. It was something no one ever thought that would um, blow up, like any form of music. You know what I'm saying? It was our music was fun. Lime to a lemon, lemon to a lime, and rhymes like that, Spoonie G's, and it was simple rhymes, but it was fun. It was something you want to dance to, have fun to, right? Then all of a sudden, rap started getting popular. They found a way, like all these young black kids have something going on there, you know what I'm saying? We can um, profit from their works of their art. And that's what they did. These Jews and all those other people did for different companies. Those who run the different companies, right? With Jewish people, right? So therefore it comes to agenda now and moves on. From fun hip hop, listening to um Spoonie G, Grandmaster Flash, all these guys out there giving the message and things like that. Well rap was positive. It was positive. It was nothing, it was no killing, it was no murder, it was too much cursing on there, it was none of that stuff there, right? And then it eased on until the brothers started waking up with the rap music. We started getting strong-minded, like, damn, you know, the rhymes and everything. So we started talking about um, our history. You know, blacks, you know, the motherland, when the black medallions, the big hats, and all that stuff, the funny goddamn kid and play here because Kwame here because things like that. That's when the goddamn um, Jews was like, hold up. These Negroes are getting too smart. They're getting independent. We can't let these Negroes think this way. You know, we got to dumb them down. So therefore, it's like taking all the, um, how you were saying, all the prestige of rap from the East Coast and now um, let's get um, these West Coast guys out there. So they gave them a chance, gave them a shot. We had to move, we had to move from East Coast positive. You know I'm saying we were the positive ones. We have five percent of gods and earth, Muslims, all that stuff there. So we are the mecca of um, the intelligence in YC, the intelligence, right? So they broke that off. Give the West Coast a shot. Okay, so what they do? They bringing all this some cuss, cussing, gang stuff, and all this stuff there, right? Which is neg negative, but we want to hear it. Of course, we want to hear it. It's like a movie, like a Scarface movie. Of course, you want to hear something that's brand new, you no? Know? Boom. But they were being used, like Special Ed said, they were fucking being used. You know what I'm saying? All this destruction there. You look at NWA. Everyone want to put big, put, put NWA on some kind of high pedestal. I don't do that, dear. No, I put Ice Cube the high pedestal because he's one of the right damn rap for his dudes here. You know what I'm saying? Dre was making the beats. Cool, but um, what songs are so monumental with N.W.A.? F the Police. Um, there's very few other ones that's real, but as you said, that's popular. But I mean, as far as the movement that made us like, no, it's after police because of the rioting and the police brutality and our history with police. So that one song right there was like, wow, that was it, after police. But all the rest of that stuff there, come on now.
We had groups come back in the 80s and 90s there, like India Bay. I'm not India Bay, Public Enemy. I feel Public Enemy doesn't get the much, the, the much respect that they deserve. Hit pitch people mentioning some NWA stuff. We have Public Enemy putting out songs, Don't Believe the Hype, um, Terror Dome, Public Enemy number one, all these songs that, that made you, you know, it was like, it was igniting some kind of fire inside us. You know, saying that black power was what did this. But after that, like I said, the black power was too strong. Black people are too strong. So what they got to do, they got to try to dumb us down, weak us down with all this NWA, this uh, West Coast rap stuff, right? As I was watching the interview, there was also called Forgotten Kings. And um, the little crusty dude, corrupt, you know, from Philadelphia. The other dude, that's from Mississippi. These dudes are not born in California, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm um, Exhibit, Tupac, you know, Ice-T. God dang, you go on and on. These dudes here who are these, these um, guys who claim in Cali, but they're never from Cali, right? But they want to sit there and, and get mad. So this is what West Coast do. You know, we ba da 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 You know, y'all don't do a goddamn thing. Y'all was used. Y'all was used like whores, you know what I'm saying, to um, promote violence and drugs and gangbang and killing and rap. If y'all, like Corrupt said, no, we are the ones who do this here. We West Coast, West Coast then. Where the hell y'all at now? Huh? Y'all was used, you know what I'm saying? You was used, all your, your, your death rope dudes, all y'all was used. Y'all really can't say a goddamn thing, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can't um, say what special is said was wrong because 100% facts. And anyone that does not agree with um, what special is a goddamn fool. You know what I'm saying? I don't give you from West Coast or not. It doesn't matter what coast you're from. You look at it, you see the dynamics of these dead type people, but you dumbass idiots over there trying to say, oh, we we did something, some, some spectacular. What you did was spectacular. Some gangster rap shit you did. If it was so spectacular, it would still be around. You see anybody out there buying some kind of West Coast gangster rap music now? They already don't got to exist in the rap game no more. The West Coast. Tell you what, what West Coast rap you see out there doing something. I don't know. I don't know. No kind of West Coast rappers doing a goddamn thing now. So we saying what um, Corrupt and the other meathead was saying is, um, hey, it just proves the right idea. You know, this rap music is, um, rappers, are, it's a game. You know, they really have no kind of um, the mentality to boost up our people. You know what I'm saying? To boost up our people to sit there and um, to criticize a brother who, um, Make good music, make good fun music, you know, and um, still doing his thing out there. You know what I'm saying? NWA, we will always respect NWA because it was something different. You know, MC Ren, Yella, Dre, Easy, Ren, you know, um, Cube, you know, it, that was it there. It was like, it was, it was, it was something that um, we would never forget there. But don't try to act like um, what Special said was wrong, that y'all was used to change hip hop and bring destruction to us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you would use like goddamn, um, what's the little, them, the little gerbils, the little guinea we go, lab rats. That's what the West Coast was. And that's why West Coast right now ain't got a goddamn thing popping now. Ain't nothing popping there. You ain't no black rappers coming out here popping nothing that I know of. You got a couple few little little ones you hear, you see them, but um, it's not like before. It's not like before. If it was, if this gangster rap was so strong and so powerful from the West Coast, they'll still be dominating the, um, the rap scene. But no, the Jews said, no, we don't have enough of y'all. Y'all don't put enough destruction out for the West Coast. We're going to let them, we're going to, we're going to spread the evilness throughout the rest of the nation. Let these other come with some shit now. Got drill music, killing and Dracos, all this goddamn dumb shit. When hip hop was at NYC, it was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Once the Jews gave it to the West Coast, it got ugly. And I'm my fan, peace.